How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. I also got to put in the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. So today we're going to be talking about SNDL Sundial Growers. But before we get started, of course, we got to go over an agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below in the description. But if you are a shareholder or you are considering to take a position, I suggest you watch the full entire video. So the first thing we're going to be going over is a technical analysis. We want to know, is it looking bullish or is it looking bearish? And what are those particular levels that we need to look out for, especially when it comes to a breakout and seeing some strong moves in price action? Then afterwards, we're going to be taking a look at the short interest information. So why do you want to take a look at this? We want to know what is the market sentiment? Is it positive or is it negative or is it going up or is it going down? And we're going to be figuring that out. And then when all of that is done, I'll be getting into the final thoughts. So let's get into it. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for SNDL Sundial Growers. So let's see where it closed on today. So it ended up closing at $1.16. So we had no change overall in general. So we also could see on the low it tested one one dollar and eleven cents and then on the high testing one dollar and twenty two cents so one of the things that we want to take a look at and also to keep you guys updated we're looking at the one year daily chart we are above the 200 day we are above the 21 day EMA and we're also sitting strong above the 100 day as well one thing to do keep in mind of the fact we're seeing this dollar 10 level holding up very well for SNDL it got down to a dollar 11 and it ended up rebounding off of that so seeing this area continue to hold up, and this are actually one of the areas we've spoken about on the channel. Yesterday, I was talking about the 13s. That area did end up breaking when the market literally just went red and just tanked for a moment, but then it recovered. So one thing that I want to tell you guys is that dollar thirteen level still ends up being an area of support, and this dollar eleven getting close to a dollar ten level, I see that as an opportunity, especially these meme stocks continue to have a lot of momentum. I've also mentioned, and I was I was telling you guys if SNDL can get past this 150 area, so a dollar and fifty cents, to be exact, many of you are also calling out right here on the dollar fifty-three. If you want to be really pinpoint to this, then it gets very interesting. And the reason being is we can look forward to seeing a strong run up and definitely getting past 160 and making a strong move to the upside. So one of the things that I'm going to be looking at and paying attention to is seeing how well SNDL could hold up this dollar ten area and continue to have that strength above the 100 day. If we take a look at the RSI down below. Yes, it is definitely getting in to that overbought territory here, but we have to understand this is moving off of other meme stocks. So taking that into consideration, we want to see this continued strength. If it does decide to pull back after all of this, then the area that I'll be looking out for to see it hold up is right here at the 21 day EMA, which is exactly to be right here around 96 cents. If that area does break, then we know potentially where we can go and we end up probably testing the 200 day which it has done in the past so we're on fintel we're going to take a look at the short interest information for sndl sundial growers so the short volume ratio is at 22 percent and this is taking the close from yesterday so what does this look like out of 258.2 million shares that were traded 56.8 million of those shares were actually sold short so very significant there so short shares availability is at 7 million updated 19 minutes ago and for the short borrow free rate it is at 1.82%. If we take a look at the history of the short volume ratio, comparing it, we could also see it is going down for SNDL, right? If we take a look here, and we're going as far back as May the 26th, it was at 44.82, and it's gotten all the way down here to 22. So it's gone down by more, just more than half. So just taking all of that into consideration, yes, a lot of shorts have ended up actually covering their positions. They're like, hey, I'm out of this. Let me just cover this. So the fact that it's still at 22% still shows that, hey, there's still some shorts that are still in this play. So the more this stock runs up, I'm looking forward to seeing a short squeeze from SNDL but we do know it moves in accordance with a lot of other meme stocks as well so just know 
know that and by keeping those on your watch list can give you a good idea as far as price direction. So for my final thoughts for SNDL Sundial Growers, I'm definitely looking forward to see how the rest of this week turns out. When we took a look at the short volume ratio, it is actually going down. So we had some shorts who are covering their positions. But do keep in mind, and this is a recent update, I looked at my phone very quickly before I started recording this portion of the video, and I saw that the short volume ratio was at 221%. Yes, I'm gonna say that again. The short volume ratio was at 221%, and that is extremely high. Like I said, I don't know if that's a typo or if that's a mistake. You guys can correct me on that. But again, I just saw this recently. So the fact that it's above 200%, and this is taken into consideration as of today, that is very interesting and it does also show some very heavy negative market sentiment saying, hey, this stock price needs to go down. But like I said previously, what it was for the yesterday at the end of close, it was at 22 and it was going down. So that's the update I wanted to kind of give you guys quickly here. So also, as far as for the long-term potential for SNDL, we know that there's a big time legislation that we want to see get passed towards the end of June. And this is talking about the MORE Act here. So even though that yes, SNDL is categorized with other meme stocks, it also, it also has other catalysts that are actually going for it. And this is something also to remember. So what does this mean? Yes, there's gonna be a lot more volatility inside of this stock. So if you are trading it and you're looking for opportunities, make sure you watch the technical analysis or also do your own homework and your own due diligence to make sure you can end up on the best side of your particular trade. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.